My name is Justin Severino. I'm the chef, uh, owner of Cure and Morcia restaurants in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. The cured meat cooler in the basement at Morcia, that's my happy place. I want to say like 10 out of 10 people that open that door are like, whoa. You could just, you can bust my balls later about this. I'm probably busier than I've ever been in my life right now. We're open six days a week. The thing never sleeps. As a chef and owner of two restaurants, I know it's going to be stressful and I just need to find ways to deal with it. Mountain biking has always been my stress relief. Yeah. What's up? Nice mustache. Here's two. This is the fifth official Bike Bro mountain bike trip, but we've gone on probably 10 or 15 of them together in recreational vehicles. These are just backup in case we run out of all the other meat. You're going to get the meat sweats probably. Have you had the meat sweats? <laughs> Well, this is a dude trip here, full-blown dude trip. Me and my three best friends are taking a journey. Yeah, we're gonna go into West Virginia right now. We're gonna shred some gnar on mountain bikes, probably eat a sandwich. Last year, Aaron got bit by a brown recluse spider. The year before that, Aaron broke his collarbone. Today, shredded. The whole RV camping thing, I try to like do all the work at both the restaurants before we leave. We have four 22 ounce ribeye steaks, four tri-tips, 50 sausages of different flavors. We have- He prepares these menus in advance. Supplier. The staff at the restaurants help him prepare the food. Homemade bacon, pepperoni. And we literally live like kings out of that RV. He brought some oysters with us too. We're not eating tuna fish sandwiches. Well, I've known as much for you. I'll make an exception. Aaron is our negotiator. I'm obviously the chef. Brandon can pretty much fix and build anything. And then Jay, he's kind of our trail guide, believe it or not. Let's do it. I mean, when I was shredding, when I saw you guys shredding, I didn't know what to do except think to myself, this is the sickest moment of my life. Except for <laughs> marrying your wife and watching her birth your two children. Right, other than that. There's that. The Rebranch was the home of the Red Bull Dreamline a few years back. We came here last year. It's kind of the perfect destination for middle of nowhere mountain biking. We're having a nice little breakfast salad of our homemade bourbon maple bacon, spinach. Raw spinach. Raw, yeah. obviously, because otherwise it wouldn't be a salad. Wait, like you said, you guys said there weren't any more decals. <laughs> I'm confused. Uh-oh. Welcome to bro country, bro. <laughs> so far, I like little bikers on the mountains the best. Uh, my wife said so I was buying this RV for me and my bros, and I said, baby, this RV is all about you and I being able to get away and spend time together. And now it says bromobile on it. What up, LL? Hey, I'm Mike with Squatch Bikes here in Brevard, North Carolina, and uh, taking them out on uh, an epic Pisco ride. They may hate it at times, but it's uh, it's true Pisco riding at, at its finest. Our friend Mike Colonna tells me and acts like he likes me, but when he takes me mountain biking, he treats me like I owe him money. There was a time when we were doing the hike and bike and we did hold hands. I didn't think I was gonna make it up the hill and Aaron just reached back and held my hand and pulled me up the rest of the way. What's what bros are all about. I would bail over the side of the mountain if I can't make it. <laughs> in general, there's a lot of camaraderie in cycling. It's figuring out what trails to take. Can we climb these 1,800 feet? Sometimes you have great trails, sometimes trails suck. Part of it's getting out there, figuring it out, and having some fun. For the group of us to take on a challenge together is really awesome. One to 11? Give it 11. Yeah. Like bros. All day. Let's try it. 
tri-tip. It's pretty righteous. I think mean, that's what we want right now. I got it in Dijon, sriracha, and soy sauce and maple. This is gonna be a party, I think. Tonight, I'm gonna to cook with some friends of mine at Buxton Hall Barbecue. I'm serving a morcilla sausage sandwich with potato aioli and coquillo pepper jam. And then I also sent them a prosciutto style ham and they've hung it above their smoker. That ham's been hanging up here for about two weeks. This is gonna be our last meal of the trip. I usually try to save the best for last, like our version of cochineo. Aaron really likes crispy skin on his pork. I hate to let him down. It's for the guys at the bike shop. They let us stay in their backyard and fix their bikes this morning. Woo! I think one of the things that keeps me going is this community of people that I mountain bike with. Aaron and Brandon and I and Jay, we go out of our way to ride together all the time. And cooking for my friends over fire is like, it's the most gratifying way for me to cook, for sure. Oh, 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 look out for that root. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get that. Oh, watch this jump. Oh, ha ha. Oh. Yeah, here we go. No, jump! Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah yeah! <laughs>